<clears throat> Hello, Willow Davis. How's it? This isn't gonna work. I've <laughs> I've become ethereal. I'm nude. Okay, let's get this. Oh, okay, and oh, there I am. Okay, <laughs> how's it going? So today I want to take a look back at some of Kay's oldest videos to see just what things were like when she was starting out. In case you happen to be new here, well, welcome on in for one. Uh, hi, I'm Willow Davis. I end up making a lot of videos here on YouTube, a lot of reaction videos, good amount of the time. Lately, for whatever reason, we've had a theme of uh, food, mostly like cringe food videos. I think that started from me reacting to Kay's cooking however many months ago and you know it's still still been entertaining so something about this pleasant lady from england trying her best to make some food is it's great television not television anyway looking through some of her earliest videos i definitely wanted to check out this one not quite chicken nuggets because you know when there's some kind of like disclaimer in the title itself that uh some something something terrific is gonna happen right Hi people, back cooking again, uh, being asked to do some chicken nuggets. Very mild early on with the uh, introduction, that's interesting. So, I'm gonna start it. Right, I've just cooked a bit of chicken. Are you listening to some I've tunes in minutes. the background? I could have sworn I heard something. Was that Phil Collins almost? Uh, I, I, it was hard to tell. Just to get it going. So uh, you've, you've started... Minutes. You've started by kind of boiling some pieces of chicken that uh, she said like about 10 minutes and you could see this is, I, I feel like you should just finish the job at that point. Just to get it going. Just to uh, get it going. Just to get it going. Now I've dipped one in egg. Dip, Ugh, dipped one in egg. doing this bit. Uh, now I'm going to dip it in flour. As you can see, flour's going all over. Not a seasoning in sight. We're just going <laughs> boiling chunks of chicken, kind of dipping them in egg, and then that just plain, just plain flour. Nothing, no, no, no herbs and spices mixed in there. This is really. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a baking. This is really base level here. So that's it. You're done. That's you're just baking that or what? And then which I've got all greased and lovely. Lovely. And, uh, it's just a case of putting your cooking a bit of your chicken nuggets. To you get some raw chunks of chicken, egged and floured. Start way. Well, not a seasoning in sight. Just people living in the moment. Cooking your chicken. Start way. Dipping it in egg. Dipping it in flour. You put it in your oven. Cook it on. Uh, like I said, I haven't got gas, so I can only sell you electric, which is two hundred and twenty. I wonder what two twenty is in in Fahrenheit. 15 minutes and we'll see how they turn out. Oh man. Okay, th this is this is why people make fun of uh, white people cooking. Not even salt. Not even salt. Imagine. Uh, that's the... Uh, oh, is this before or after? It kind of hard to chicken tell. Nuggets. I know they don't look much like chicken nuggets, but... Is, wait, is that... Oh no, there's no way that's... that. Th she's got to throw those in the oven still, right? They've got to go in the oven now. Okay. Uh, like I said, <laughs> uh, Oh man. But That's you can't a see it, but it's uh, two twenty ish. I'm gonna put them in the oven. Um very warm tones on the uh, camera early on here. Interesting. Like so throw that I'll in there. I've got a timer on my uh, cooker. So I will put them on for oh. fifteen minutes. Must supposed to have a timer. I shall do some more and see what they turn out like. Okay. Right, I'm gonna have a look now. It's, the buzzer's Focus. just gone off. Focus. I hope they're gonna. Oh, the <laughs> cloud of smoke that has to come out every time she opens the oven. A classic. An absolute classic, okay? Well, they don't look like the normal chicken. I wonder why. Well, they've not done that. Well, you usually, usually regular chicken nuggets, you gotta get fried if you get them from like a. A, a fast food joint, you know, or right? exactly. <laughs> a deep fry. I expected, but they are done. And the chunks of dry flour just resting on top, and it's now just like fused together from the baking. Well, 
That's the result. Looks a bit crunchy. Hopefully uh, that, that chicken is cooked at this point. I'm, I don't bother myself with it. I'm, I'm vegan, everybody, in case, in case you didn't know. Just wanted to remind you. But, um, let's hope next batch come out better. Next batch? Oh, we're trying again. Right, I've just oh, um, been taking them off and found out that they're looking better on the other side. Right, where, uh, where they were in contact with the grease of the pan. Uh, I don't know why <laughs> they stuck because I did grease my tray, but they're looking a lot better on this side than what they are. On the on that side. Yeah, this is the dry flour side. Uh, now. I wonder if we're getting a Lee taste test. It's the taste test. Oh no, oh, it's a, a K taste test. Interesting. A bit crunchy, isn't it? Excuse me. <laughs> did you, did you just flip off. Yes, it just tastes. Did you just like flip the bird. That chicken. <laughs> But it would be because it's chicken nuggets. Oh god. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put. It seems so plain. This morning, um, what I've done is I've done egg and flour, but you can do egg, egg and breadcrumbs if you want, as long. True. As the as long as it sticks together. <laughs> True. Okay. Well, I made the. Chicken nuggets. Right. Oh, oh! The, the 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 lighting has completely changed now. It's it's a it's a, a touch less warm. Wrong, I will admit. Uh, it might be wise when you're doing them to dip your chicken in egg and then in breadcrumbs, not in flour. Um, I just well, I try. Why don't you throw them in the ch in the chip pan, as you call it? I just had to try it out because I've never made chicken nuggets before. Okay. So. Um, if you, well, you do that. Uh, if you like, what I was cooking. I've, have we watched this one before? Now I'm starting to. Now I'm starting to think we might have. But is at least if if so, it's good to go back because I forgot it. Or I think maybe she's done this one before. Well, even if we have seen it before, it's all right because I get enough comments from people telling me to check out things like King Cobra and Weber Cooks. As if I haven't already. Can we have cheese? Reply. Nine. Okay. He can't. He can't have cheese. Everybody. Next, want to check out this short one. Uh, making a shepherd's pie. I feel like we've seen her make different kinds of pies before that involve similar ingredients, but uh, I don't. I don't think we've seen this one specifically. Hi, people. I'm back cooking again. I like the clock you have on the wall there. <laughs> A, a wristwatch just resting on top of that, what is that, a light switch or something? Uh, this time I'm doing a shepherd's pie at the request of a hell of a lot of people. Must be nice. Uh, as you can see, I've just put, i put mine. We've got, we've got the mints uh, soaking right now. Uh, no doubt going to be boiled mints. Some, some boiled <laughs> ground beef. Cooking. As she likes what to I'm going to do is to give it a Look at it just, just sitting there in, in Blood water, ew. A bit more flavour. I'm gonna have some gravy granules. Oh, a, a bit flavour. Uh. It can be any gravy granules. It can be cheap. It can be bistro. It can be okay. anything really. All right. You just add about two to three gravy granules. Just, just two to three granules. Okay. Stir it in. Interesting. And you cook it for an hour on full power on your ring. And you cook it for an hour. Okay, okay, so you're you're just you're taking the raw mince and you're just boiling it in gravy a full heat for an hour. Okay. Step one right there. Boil the mince in gravy. After an hour, the mince is now done. Uh, I've I've done some potatoes. I know I didn't show you, but I've done some potatoes. How dare you not show the process of making the spuddy taters? Now I'm going to mash them and then I'm gonna show you how to Lay them out in the dish. Okay. The the tutorial though. Uh, now I'm going to show you. How oh, you didn't show the mashing process, but that's okay. How to, how to oh, put it in a dish. That's looking not right. All you do is you just. The reason I'm sifting the gravy. I was, I was gonna say, are you straining that? Now it's because greyhounds can't have gravy. Because greyhounds can't have gravy, of course. What part of this? What part of this is appropriate for <laughs> for a dog? Okay, all right. Oh boy, this. That's come on. 
patty. They're still it's, it's soaked in gravy for an hour. For an hour. The sifting ain't doing anything. Okay, well. Well. You can put anything in with you. Mince meat, peas, carrots. Yeah, usually, usually there's some peas and carrots in a shepherd's pie, right? Onions. Onions. Anything you want. I'm just doing the basic one. Just to give you a demonstration of what. Just no vegetables to be found. To do. Oh god, come on the dog. Now it's time to put the potatoes on. Don't worry if they seem like they sink a bit. They will at first. It's just with the amount of gravy that you've got left in it. Who cooks with their dog in mind, really? Right, as you can see, <laughs> I did more mince than I did potatoes. But I managed to spread it all out. Now it's, I know it's all, everything is cooked, but now it's got to go in the grill for about 10 minutes on full power. Full power, full power. Um, grill, grill means uh, like broiler, right? To Just England. come out of the oven and I think it looks better than it did when it went in. Don't, oh God, please don't touch the pan. Now on this, um, before you put it in the oven, I forgot to mention, you can put cheese on it. But seeing that my son can't have cheese... He can't, he can't have cheese. I don't put any on it. Of course, of course, he can't have cheese. And this is where <laughs> the mess normally goes all over my... Oh, please be careful, please be careful with that blazing hot glass pan. Oh my god, you're getting so close. Uh, this is the end product. <laughs> Dog pole, come on! Oh my god. As you can see, if you're wondering why the dog's got some, um, I have been advised that dogs can have minced meat either raw or cooked. You've you've been advised by 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 the dog's vet, or, or and but it's soaked in the gravy. Uh, I hope you like what you've seen. Been advised. Me yet? No taste test. All right, I'm ahead out. Always... Am I too strict? Am I too strict with the dog? Well, this isn't shepherd's pie at all. Well, it's K's way, okay? Okay, let's get one more oldie in. Uh, souffle, a savory souffle gone wrong. As I said before, those, when she, when she has to explain that something went wrong in the title, that's how you know it's gonna be quality. That's gonna be some good video right there. That people, I'm back cooking again. This time, I'm going to- Don't be afraid of the dark. Very interesting shirt. To do a savory souffle. Fear of the dark, Iron Maiden maybe, Kay. Am no, I right? I'm gonna do a cheese one, but, uh, cause my son can't have cheese, I'm doing a savory <laughs> one. He can't have cheese, he can't. He can't have cheese. Y'all wanna make the cheese food food souffle the cheese souffle he can't have it okay oh. um, i've never done one before so it's gonna t i can imagine it's gonna turn out didn't she didn't she make mac and cheese one time but was it was just like milk and pasta because he can't have cheese that rubbish oh man uh, as you can see i've put some flour in uh, a bit now, I've never attempted to make a souffle, as I as I say all the time here. I'm not much of a baker, other than I, I do make those breads now. They're very nice. Um, a souffle is like the hardest thing you can bake, right? It's like it's like very delicate the whole process, and because there's so much air in it or whatever, right? This this is like the hardest thing someone can make, right? So I'm, I'm I guess I'm not surprised that it's gone wrong. Listen, I'm gonna switch it on. It says to put on a medium heat. And I'm going to add some milk. Um, just some. Not too much because it's got to be just dry flour in a in a in a pan on the stove, and then smooth. Throw in an amount of milk. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. Hey, maybe she's following the directions. I don't know. What what do I know? And now it's time to heggies to separate the eggs. Now that's a that's. That's a, a joke right there, that you've separated the eggs. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I'm going to separate an egg. Now, it's been years since I've done this, so I can imagine it ain't going to turn out right. I love how you use a knife. Just, just s smack the shell directly into the egg. The shell shrapnel firing directly at the yolk. Yeah, we are. That's done. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this... 
<laughs> sorry the amount of eggs you need is for the amount of people you're doing it for if you're doing it for six people you need six eggs if you're doing it for three people you do it you do three eggs what about the amount of everything else uh, that's all i know about it you have to keep stirring this constantly so you get lumps in it like i've got a few in but as we said, I, f I feel like lumps is a bad start, but what again, what do I know? Get rid of some. But these are the eggs. I don't know if you can see, or the egg whites that are separated. And you give them a quick, I've just given them a quick whisks with a fork, and I'm going to add them into it. Okay. Uh. Good luck. And then I'm going to keep stirring that. This seems like such a, a bit thick. such a gentle process that needs oh. to be done here. As I said, um, I've been just been constantly stirring. Make sure it. you're not scrambling those eggs there. Now I've got, I'm going to add the yolks. I don't know if you can see them into the pan and mix them in. Like I said, I can't tell what it's going to turn out like. Right. I've never done them before. I, I'm, I, I can't wait to see the comments. I feel like someone in there hopefully will know how to actually make a souffle. And now everything's been sorted and put mm. in and everything. Now I'm going to put it, it says to put in a, a greaseproof tin. I see, what is that? Is it? Is that like some parchment paper or is that just like some tissue paper from a gift? Unfortunately, I haven't got a greaseproof tin. I can't be bothered to do it. So I've decided to... Put it in a grease, grease proof paper. Grease proof? So now I don't know if you can see, it's starting to look a bit like a cake. <laughs> so you're just going to pour it onto that, that crumpled paper there? Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to put it all in know. here. Maybe it's correct. And the, uh, it, Give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> from what? Looks kind of like mashed potatoes. From what I gather, it takes up to 35 to 40 minutes to cook. So we're going to put it in the oven. This is when I scoop it all out, and we're gonna see what it turns out like. Is it not just gonna to fuse to that paper? It turns out better than I'm expecting. Now the buzzer's gone off on the cooker. Oh, I'm excited. I am dreading it because I can imagine it ain't gonna look like no souffle <laughs> that you know of. Right. So, <laughs> oh dear. Oh. oh really? You dropped it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks a, a touch deflated. It's had 35 minutes. It ain't done, so I'm gonna put it in for another few more minutes. And you sure? <laughs> it raises, but I can't see it happening. You sure you want to do that? It's coming out of oven. Oh, I can't, I can't, can't see it to making much difference, but. Uh, oh, another smoke coming out of it. Wonderful. Oh, and it's fogging up the camera. Okay. All right. <laughs> God, you can get it. Come here. This is gonna be good. Like, it ain't, it ain't grown much. It looks a bit crispy. In fact, it hasn't even grown. It looks crispy. I tell you, I feel like crying and throwing it away. But that was the souffle. Well, you know, maybe it tastes fine. <laughs> that turned, that should have been a cheese, but turned into a savoury. Eh? What about it was savoury? Was it not just flour, milk, and eggs? Uh, I'll just put the knife in just to check. What what is savoury about yes, this? Unfortunately, it's done. <laughs> unfortunately, it's done. Tell you, sorry, when you I I try it with a knife. Uh, if you put the knife in and it comes out clean-ish comes out clean then it is done but like i said it hasn't, it hasn't can we get a taste test or no or that's what i want to know he looks really sorry for himself <laughs> <laughs> well as i said this oh come on no taste test you need to temper your eggs what is what does that mean temper your eggs oh don't you have to, oh do you have to like uh do you have to like uh beat the uh the egg whites to like a a fluff maybe i don't know why can lee have milk if he can't have cheese don't don't question it don't question it souffle this is saying butter oh some some cheese lee can't have cheese milk flour salt pepper must okay these are all spices and stuff yolks whites okay cream of tartar optional okay yeah all, all optional stuff okay oh yep yep what is that stiff peaks you want from the uh, egg whites firm glossy peaks okay there you go that's that's uh that's probably the key right there 
unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Probably wanted uh, probably wanted to beat those eggs, whisk them. I wonder if there's a vegan souffle. Oh, this this thing's just saying like uh, baking powder. I don't know. I don't know. Souffle's beyond me. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for hanging. Thanks for watching. I'll be uh, going live on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, what is that? The the sixth, May sixth. If you happen to be uh, catching this day of. Come stop by if you can. I know it's probably probably a little late for uh, UK. Tried to do it a little earlier than usual. But yeah, we're gonna be chatting, reacting to stuff. Maybe check out some more Kay's cooking there. And then if you want more, I also go live on Twitch like every weekday. Go find me there at twitch.tv slash Willow Davis. And yeah, other than that, um, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis out.